Hi everyone, my name is Ale and today I'm going to teach you how to get rid of porn addiction. But before we start, I want to mention that everything you're gonna hear in this video is my pure fantasy. You will get involved into my ideas, thoughts, imagination and again, fantasies. You may consider this video as a joke, however, your porn addiction is not a joke and since you are here watching this video, you know how harmful it is. So I decided to, well, adapt the 12 steps program and Christians were great at making this program, yeah, because they give religion instead of some addiction. And as we know, religion is another addiction. Well, and I find that it serves a really great purpose. However, I have a better decision. Hmm. I will show you how great goddess worship is better at coping with some addictions, especially with porn addiction. So I will read the steps and I will show you how I'm going to modify them just a little bit. So first of all, I want to say that in this 12 steps program, they always use the word we because that's more or less of a club in a great goddess religion there is no we there is i because you always take personal responsibilities for your actions so let's start we okay we replace it for i yeah i admitted that i was powerless uh yeah we also have to get rid of that because you were not just powerless, you chose to be powerless. And again, responsibility. I will explain it later. So the first one, I admitted I chose to be powerless over porn, that my life had become unmanageable. Why I'm saying that you chose to be powerless? Because if you give up your power completely over porn, yeah, that porn owns you, that is true. You admit that you're weak and miserable. However, you have to understand that that was a choice to give up, to give in, to be weak. That's a choice and you take all responsibility for that choice. Even if it seems like you had no choice, maybe you were, well, depressed, poor you. Mm, it still was a choice. And you have to admit that instead of just guilting yourself is the word guilting. So instead of just constantly feeling guilty for that, I'm not trying to shame you, even if that is pretty shameful that you are a porn addict. However, um, yeah, instead of feeling guilty, I wanted to feel responsible for your choice and admit that at that moment of your life, you chose to get into that maybe it wasn't the best decision but it probably helped you deal with something you were dealing with and maybe you still are and again even if it wasn't wise it wasn't right it still played some role in your life and you take the whole responsibility for this okay continue number two came to believe that a power greater than ourselves than myself mm -hmm, could restore me to sanity and i would add if i behave yeah exactly as soon as you realize how powerful great goddess is there is no way back to look at the things in your previous way step number three made a decision to turn my will and my life over to the care of goddess as i understood her and let me add and i am begging for forgiveness yes forgiveness because you forgot about great goddess all patriarchal religions just threw her away yeah, because she's a threat to your male gods. But now we are coming back to great goddess religion. I don't even want to call it religion. That's a big concept that is included into so many spheres of life. 
and yeah that's can be seen as an aspect it can be seen as the main thing that connects people because we all come from a woman we are all creatures of nature and mother earth well has a gender great goddess isn't your all forgiven hypocrite god it's not enough just to say yeah i believe in you mommy <laughs> she requires you to work not just to pray step number four made a searching and fearless moral inventory of myself mm, yeah i want you to concentrate on this one meditate on this one Imagine that you are a little boy again. Imagine yourself as a child. Just get back years ago. You were a little boy. Now look at yourself, what you've become. Are you proud of yourself? Step number five. Admit it to goddess, to myself and to another human being, uh, the exact nature of my wrongs. Yeah, man, talk to your body. I'm pretty sure that he has the same issue and doesn't really speak about it. You know, it's okay to watch porn once in a while. Oh, is it? Yeah, everyone does that. But lots of men came to understanding how damaging it is. And someone like you knows it for sure. At the moment when it becomes, well, an addiction, you no longer just choose to watch porn even if i said that you chose to get addicted to this yeah responsibility taking the responsibility helps now it feels like it chooses you and you have no choice you have no power that's why it's called an addiction anyway porn addiction for men is like a plague step number six I was entirely ready to have goddess remove all these defects of character. I wanted to be ready to give it up. Goddess worship is not another fetish, even if it's, yeah, of course, it's sexier than worshiping a dead guy on a cross. But it's so much more than that. So be ready for a change. Number seven, humbly ask her to remove my shortcomings in exchange for supporting matriarchy yeah that's my addition you cannot just constantly ask beggar step number eight made a list of well they say persons and i will say women made a list of women i i had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all yes i said women you harm women with seeing us as sex objects always teens always young never get old shiny holes moaning like dolls okay dolls do not moan but you know what i mean right you hurt us with bad fingering bad hair pulling bad spanking this is what you learn from porn Oh, you're not into that kind of porn. You're into femdom porn, into fetish porn, into women being aggressive and hurting men, right? Anyway, you see women as sex objects, as fetishes, as, well, separate body parts. You don't see the whole human being. And even if you think that you do, you still fetishize everything women do. Everything we have everything we do you have to sexualize and fetishize step number nine may direct amends to such women <laughs> wherever possible except when to do so would injure them or others yeah exactly apologize to your ex if she wants to see you mostly this would be women but it could also be your son maybe your wife just took him away because that's impossible to live with you because you're a porn addict so you hurt him as well step number 10 continue to take personal inventory and when i was wrong promptly admitted it 
Yeah, very good point. I have nothing to add. Number 11. Sought through prayer and meditation to improve my conscious contact with goddess. As I understood her, praying only for knowledge of her will for me and the power to carry that out. Yes. What is her will? You never know in advance, but you better believe in the best outcome. Number 12. Having had a spiritual awakening as the result of the steps, I try to carry this message to other porn addicts and to practice these principles in all my affairs. Make this world better for women. We are so tired of you porn creeps. And here we could finish, but number 13 is so delicious. And the whole system misses just one thing. So I decided to add step number 13. Found a high priestess, goddess incarnate on earth, submitted to her. I am paying tributes for redemption to her, following her orders and reporting about my progress to her. Well, actually, not only about progress, yeah, about your downfalls as well. That's it for today. And I'm not going to tell you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Twitter. Um, what else do I have? Instagram, loyal fans. I'm not going to tell you to sign up for the 13-step program because I'm not your owner. You are your own person and you will do whatever you want. You have your free will, unfortunately, yeah? Anyway. Have a good day. Goodbye.